Welcome back to Life is Strange. Episode 3 has just come out, so let's jump right into it. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange... Whoa! ...we called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm so sick is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Okay, so I think Max and Chloe have gone into full-on, like, research, figure this out mode. I think that's the last thing they were talking about, right? Like, let's figure out what the hell is going on with all these strange events. So, I guess Chloe has found something. And it looks like Max had stayed up late on her computer, probably doing research. How did Sherlock Holmes deduce anything without the internet? <laughs> how did... Yeah, how did anybody know anything without Wikipedia? Bizarre. Surely it must have been impossible. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Yeah, I don't know how the hell Kate is gonna... recover. God, she's gonna have a hard time. I 
A student at the prestigious Blackwell Academy will jump from the roof. Yep, yep, yep. Huh. Yeah, it says an un unidentified student talking Marsh down to safety. I'm actually surprised it didn't mention Max's name. Just unidentified student. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what Kate didn't want. She didn't, she didn't want all the attention. She didn't want anybody... You know, looking at her strangely, she just wanted to... She just wanted everybody to leave her alone for the most part. But now, after what happened... People are going to be paying even more attention to her. I don't know, hopefully she can take the semester off or something and... Come back next semester and... Hopefully, things will have died down. Can only hope. I can water this plant, right? There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. Wait, what? You mean I overwatered it? <laughs> you mean I've been doing a bad thing by watering it every chance I get? No. Okay, if you overwater a plant, can you reverse the process by, like, uh, like putting it in the oven? You know, dry it out a bit? Turn it on a really low temperature? That works, right? Please? I didn't kill it, did I? <gasps> oh. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Am I gonna overfeed the bunny too and it's gonna become super obese and then get diabetes? Maybe I shouldn't feed anything. Everything I touch just dies. Life is pain. Hey, Bunny. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. This game really is lovely. The lighting, the art style is so good. Listen to the crickets outside. Hmm. I've got to warn you, too, I'm feeling exceptionally emotional today, so, like, I might just look at the fireflies outside and then suddenly break down crying or something. I feel like that might happen, <laughs> so, we'll see. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Ah, uh, this is still here? No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. Jeepers, I am so freaking tired. <laughs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. Schoolwork would be pretty much the last thing I'd be focusing on. Like... Hey, I think the entire town is going to be killed by a massive tornado. I don't really care about algebra at the moment. Well, should probably turn this thing off to save power. Green. Oh yeah, so I really want to focus this episode on getting all the pictures. Because I've been kind of bad at that. 
And it seems like a good way to find all the pictures is actually to look... Let's go to the episode. Yeah, to look at this. If you look at this, it, it, it basically already has the pictures kind of there. They're just not filled in yet. But these are pretty close approximations of what the picture is actually going to look like, so I can use these as kind of hints for where to look. Um... Ooh, it looks like there's a squirrel and a bunch of fireflies. That's probably a picture I can take right outside, because I remember a squirrel being out there and I just saw some fireflies. Okay, is it time to actually go outside? Nah. I'm just going to spend the entire rest of this episode staring out the window. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. <sighs> All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. Creepy. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Whoa, this lighting is really, really good. And creepy. I guess you can't just turn on the lights in the hallway of a dorm? That's something the school controls, maybe? I don't know, I've never lived in a dorm. <laughs> what is this image? <laughs> is that... Is that a tomato or like a pumpkin? I don't know if it's supposed to be scared or trying to scare somebody else. Where the hell are you, Rachel Amber? That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Hmm? Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. Yeah, why did they cover her door with police tape? Is it a crime scene? I don't get it. So much hypocrite. Yeah, now they're nice to her, after she tried to kill herself. Oh, hey. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I guess she's actually going to be nice to me now, too. Hmm. Should I try to blame her? I mean... She did contribute... to what made Kate want to kill herself in the first place, right? I'm going to do it. You should believe it. She almost jumped because you and everybody here bullied her. What? You're, like, blaming me? Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, yes. Then just get out of here! Like, stop fucking with me! I've got my own family shit to deal with. I'm done for the day. Aw, oh, so sorry you've got problems at home. I guess that makes it okay to... drive somebody to try to kill themselves. I really don't like her. Hey, open. Max, come here. Dana's really hurting over this. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. That was bullshit. Where was everybody else? I know. You're a better person than any of us here. Hey, Max. I think I need to crash now. I'm just over everything today. Can I talk to her again? I am wiped out, Max. 
We'll talk later. No, it looks like that's it. Of course, I could always reverse time and try to say something else, but uh, I don't think I will. <laughs> Let's just use her laptop right in front of her. Nothing weird about that. Aww, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Hey, Dana. Been thinking about you all day, and I know how hard it was for you to see Kate almost jump from the roof today. Glad that Max swooped in like a superhero. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want you to know that you're a good friend to Kate, and I wish you had more friends like you. You've always been good for me when everything else is so fucked up, and I'm here for you always. I miss you. Trev. Aw, that was sweet. Oh, and then Dana replied, Thank you so much for thinking of me. I keep seeing Kate on that roof, and I feel like I should have done more to help her. Max did more than anybody to save Kate, and I don't even think they're BFF. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. I don't even think they're BFF. I don't know why that's funny. I'm so happy you're thinking about me. I can't wait to see you tomorrow and let... Uh, and you are just as good for me as you think I am for you. Dreaming of you tonight. Aww. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh yeah, I remember reading this before. <laughs> Logan's very, very, very poorly written note. You know, you should probably close your door. Uh, I can't close it for her. Oh well. This game is really so good looking. They've nailed the art style so perfectly. It's just gorgeous. So Chloe gorgeous. is waiting for me in front of the main hall. It really is incredible. What they've done, it's, it's not incredibly high fidelity. It's this kind of painterly, slightly cartoonish look, but it's so perfectly realized. It's just gorgeous and smooth and the lighting is wonderful. Alright, let's look for that squirrel. In fact, I think I see a squirrel. Hey, little guy. I just need to figure out a way to get it to maybe come closer to me. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Oh, here we go. Let's get a picture. Don't run away. Don't run. No, 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 no. Come back. Oh, well. Guess I lost the opportunity to take the picture forever. If only I could reverse time. Oh, wait. Look at the lens and say nut. Gotcha. There we go. <laughs> Place is probably locked. Oh, it's oh, unlocked. No. I hope Samuel isn't around. Probably nothing in here that wasn't here last time I looked. Nothing here. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Samuel the creepy red herring. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Nothing but tools. Yeah, there's nothing in here. The most magical insects burn bright. Okay. 
Okay, that's a message that should be removed from the tree pretty quickly. It's not something you want on campus. Was that a picture opportunity? I feel like I missed a picture opportunity. Let's keep going back. No? Hmm. I know I have a set of keys on me. Some. Ah, gotcha. Now, why won't they fit? Is he drunk? The keys are all broken. Or maybe it's me. Oh god, he's drunk. Principal ah, Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he down. sees me. I don't think Nobody we have to worry about that. Spell me. Not yet, anyway. I'm toast if he sees me. Well, I think he's toast if I tell everybody that he's drunk. Although, probably nobody would believe me, but still. Um, I'm just gonna go talk to him. Can always reverse time. Blackwell almost lost Miss Caulfield. You have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. Uh, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Wait, so he, he said I'm not supposed to be outside of the dorms at this hour. I, I just realized... Isn't that kind of weird? I mean, she's an adult. Surely they can't keep you a prisoner inside a dorm, right? You should be able to go... I, I mean, this is private property, sure, I, I guess, but... I, that seems weird. Hmm. I wonder if I can break the light. Because the light over there wasn't working. Which makes me think about maybe making this one not working. But how the heck would I do that? Alternatively, I could maybe go over here? <laughs> I guess this game isn't exactly like Deus Ex Revolution or something. Surely he won't see me. Max, stop wandering oh. outside and get back to your dorm. Now he's got me totally trapped! Maybe, if I just reverse time enough, he'll still be messing with his keys. Yeah, man. I know I have a set of keys on me. Oh yeah, there we go. Somewhere. He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. No. Except me. Fit? Can I take a picture? These keys oh, are all I'd broken. love to take a picture and have it as evidence to use against him one day. Max like the ninja strikes again. Ah, fuck it. Check my text messages. I think I got a couple new ones. <laughs> Get that ass in gear now, Max. Hello. I'm coming. I'm coming. I was sent sent at 11:50. What? What's the current time? Can I check? Does it say anywhere? Uh, I don't see it. Hmm. Let's see. It's from her mom. Uh, please call us as soon as you can. We're so proud of you for saving this girl. Thanks for letting me gush over our Blackwell hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud, so milk this moment. Uh oh. Your mom seems really nice. <laughs> it's from Warren. Yo, yo, Max. Just had to remind you again how fucking awesome you were today with Kate on the roof. 
I'll make you a superhero suit on the lab's 3D printer. Cool? And you totally earned dinner on me. Along with our escape to Planet of the Apes. Or Planet O Apes. <laughs> Thanks, Warren. Need to rest my cape tonight. Nathan got suspended, too. So it was a good day. I'll call you later, okay? Booyah! Oh, Jesus. Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. <laughs> More like a scary punk asshole. <laughs> hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh right, except for your ability to... Oh yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe... I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Of course. They're both sociopaths. More like psychopaths. The Blackwell security officer even hits his own stepdaughter. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. In <laughs> here. Thank you again so much for helping me uh -oh. put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As uh. you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from... Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know what's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... 
you fucking kidding me? It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Okay, hold on. Can I pause? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> let's, let's just pause and talk about that for a minute. Okay, there's a lot of interesting stuff there, so... I don't remember who said it, but in one of the previous episodes, didn't wasn't there a rumor that Mr. Jefferson was sleeping with one of the students? I don't know if it was just that he's sleeping with one of the students or if it was specifically Victoria, but I remember something about that. And my first thought when we saw that little scene is that, okay, he definitely is, but now I'm, I'm not so sure. It's certainly very, very strange that they're both talking at a a time this late. This is, like, pr practically midnight. It's very, very strange. But... I can't tell if it's just Victoria trying to sleep with him and push her luck and... I, I can't tell if it's just Victoria trying to push him. Or if they are actually doing something inappropriate. So I don't know if it's, it's they're both doing something inappropriate or if it's just Victoria. Neither would surprise me all that much. I mean, she pressed him to pick her photo and, you know, we can spend all sorts of time together in San Francisco. And when she did that, he pushed her away. So he might not actually be sleeping with her. I can't tell. Hmm. Dude... I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. <coughs> We're not kids anymore. I'm sorry about that, Chloe. Breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I get charges for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. Okay, hold on, let me keep an eye out for photo opportunities once again. What could be inside of here? Um, <laughs> Maybe the, like, bird hawk on the bottom left? Might be on somebody's desk. Uh, looks like that's an aquarium. Maybe I'll find that here. Okay, so look for, like, statues, aquariums. Yeah, the other stuff seems like it's all outdoors. Oh, this is so exciting. What are we going to find in his office? I wonder if he's got a secret stash of JD. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Dear Mrs. Michelle Grant, as head of security at Blackwell Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since taking over a set of security, my statistics speak for themselves, as does the 15.4% drop in campus crime. I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that you'll redact this petition and reconsider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest in, s in safe and private security. <laughs> he really wants a surveillance system. And he's already got his own surveillance system at home. We know that much. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. <laughs> that is a really cheesy hat. <laughs> it's 
squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. How to feed your inner spirit animal? By Dr. B. Bracamonte. That's a cool name, Bracamonte. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Or instead, we could break the door down by kicking it open, and then once we get the information, we could rewind time, and I'll tell you the information that we found, but the door will be repaired. Yeah. Nothing here. Dead end. We're gonna be opening a lot of drawers. Boring. This is like amnesia all over again. It's like, is there a tinderbox in here? No, no tinderbox. Is there a tinderbox in here? No, no tinderbox. Crap. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hmm? Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kinda know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, no, no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass! Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Wait a minute, so we're gonna make basically like a bomb sort of to open the door? That is gonna be so fucking cool! We get to mix chemicals in the science lab? Oh. Oh. I think I need the sugar. Hold on, let's check. Warren, I love you. I mean, well, I kind of don't, because I'm still really, 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 really wishing that um, Max and Chloe get together. So screw you, Warren, but for now, I love you, Warren. I'm kidding, Warren's a nice guy. I'm not kidding about wanting to see Max and Chloe get together, though. Oh my god, they'd be an amazing couple. I hope it happens. Uh, um. <clears throat> Let's see. Sugar. Soda can, duct tape, and sodium chlorate. <laughs> Such a little image of instructions. Sodium chlorate is a powder used to create chlorine dioxide. Huh. Okay. Ooh, sugar. I don't know damn about three chemistry, more items to go. so I can't even pretend to know how that bomb's gonna work, but sure. I know baking soda and vinegar will, <laughs> will uh, foam up. I don't think that'd blow up in a lock, though. That is not a trendy hat. That's an ugly hat. I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. I bet he's cute. Wait, what was that? Is there something here? 
thought I saw something pop up. Hmm. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. There's spoopy things on everything. Also looking for photo opportunities. Ooh, soda can? In the what trash. You know? Trash. Well, yeah, but there might be a soda can in there. Ah, whatever. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. Nothing in it. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Just emptied. Nothing here. Wait, 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 wait. You mean I'm gonna have to pay money for a soda and I'm gonna have to actually drink it? Nah, that's too much. <sighs> gotta do what you gotta do. Release the crack hand. Did you seriously just say that, Max? No, nah, I'm gonna reverse time. That's unacceptable. You can't say that, Max. Alright, we're gonna try this again and you're not gonna say that, okay? Release the crack hand. No! <sighs> Alright. Alright. It's all mine anyway. You're halfway home, Max. <laughs> you still there? Did you blow up? <laughs> oh wait, didn't I get a message from uh, unknown number? Yeah, I need to look at that private number. Oh, hi. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Hey, whore, feminazis will be exterminated, watch out. Go fuck yourself. Is that Nathan, or who even cares? It's probably Nathan. I hate that formalin smell. Should find all the chemicals I need in here, though. It's the science lab. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. <laughs> Wait a minute, I can change the grade? You deserve way more than this for taking on Nathan, but every little grade counts. No, I'm not actually going to do that, am I? Yes, I like this plus better than that minus. Thanks for being there for me, Warren. That's not ethical. Hmm. I mean, it's such a silly thing, who really cares, but... I don't want to start using my powers for stupid little things like that, you know? You start doing little things, just change a grade here, change a grade there, and before you know it, you know, you're a master criminal, murdering people. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not gonna do it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Warren. I've got this power, I've got to take it seriously. Using it to change grades is just silly. I never said they were great, troll. Why would somebody write that in science lab?
So sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Hmm. Inorganic compound. Why do you have a Max, cigarette in your mouth? If you can't find sodium chloride in the science lab, give it up. Picture time. You know, I just learned the name of a bunch of bones. I bet I can name them right now. Can I get my mouse here? Is there any way I could actually point? Oh, I can't point at anything. Damn it. I would point out the bones, the clavicle, the scapula. The mandible, aka the jaw. Cervical vertebrae, lumbar vertebrae, intervertebral discs. Oh, so many things. I can't point though. I probably should find those items now. Here's the sodium chloride box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. <laughs> Use the damn chair. I was just thinking I'd have to rewind because she's going to spill it trying to get it down. Only one more ingredient left. Alright, I think that's it for the lab. So what's the other ingredient? I've got sugar, can, and sodium chlorate. Now I just need duct tape. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Some sort of supply closet. Art class. Do they use duct tape in art? This is like a scene in a horror film. You can never escape the lighthouse here. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. Oh, Kate, even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max the art critic. Victoria's cigarettes? I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. The tape is mine. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. <laughs> the bomb. <laughs> Literally. Alright, hmm. I still feel like I'm missing photo opportunities here. We've got Mr. Skeleton. I'm still taking that statue, like the, the hawk statue in the bottom left. Maybe the aquarium. Those might be a thing. Also looks like there's a statue on the top left as well. Could that have been in the trophy case? I really want to get every photo. It's probably not going to happen, but I really want to. Alright, let's make sure I've been everywhere. So art class, science class. Don't know what that is, can't go inside of it. Oh, that's science class. Oh, that's the other door to the science class. Okay. Check, check, check. That's where I came from. Yep, 
Yeah, that, that looks awfully like this statue right there, actually, that, like, cheerleader. But, looks like it isn't. Look, 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 no picture. Yeah, no picture. Okay. Guess that's it. Let's do this.